three, two. All right, everybody, welcome back. Sorry for the delay, but I think it's going to be worth it. Because coming up right now, here at UKSG, we've got Apache Smash. Running Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, the tanker blindfolded. Apache, take it away. Thanks very much, Nordic. Good to be back, UKSG. I think it's my ninth time here, or nearly into those double digits, I guess. Um, I live in at UKSG. Um, this was the first run I ever did at UKSG. I did Metal Gear Solid 2 very easy. This time around, I'm doing it blindfolded. Um, I have my commentator, Mark and Jay, with me. Uh, she'll be talking in just a moment. I'll get the run going, and then she can do all that. Uh, you know, big love to so, all the Metal hello, Gear fans. So, hello, I'm Mocky J, as Apache three, introduced me. Two, um, one, so, he's currently deafened. He can't hear anything I say, so I can say anything. But I'm, I'm going to be nice. Um, as you can hear from the start of the game, the music is actually currently off, which is a great feature that you have on the PC version, which is what he's playing. Um, and it's great because... The majority of this game, the way he sees is with his ears, not his eyes, as you can see. Uh, so he listens to the footstep, and we're just going to try and avoid this guard here, because we really don't want to be kicked in this game. It's not a fun time. And then we got through the first room very easily, very nice. Uh, we're next going to just get through this little cut scene here, and then we're going to get past this guard by shooting him. Very nice. Little crouch there. Hit the wall move up and we're gonna go up these stairs to make our way to the deck sea. another cutscene the way he hears the cutscene is he'll hear himself against the wall again just listening out for these little tiny movements that he that uh, snake is doing see he can feel he's uh, stuck there because of the sound of the stairs to the sound of the floor we're just making our way up to our first boss Olga just got to move Oh, he thinks he's on the other side. There we go. We get. Brilliantly done. And we're going to make our way to the first boss, Olga. She can go two ways, right or left. Ideally, right is better for blindfold because it just makes it a little bit easier of a setup. We'll just see what he gets. So he's got a right side, so he's going to get her twice first off. And then he's going to just wait for this cutscene. You'll always get this cutscene in a blindfold run you, you can't get away from it unfortunately i've been with the unit and we're gonna since get another shot born. on her i grew Two up more. on the battlefield conflict and victory were my parents and we've just got i think one more shot will do it or he we might need two yeah he's gonna have to move to the left hand side and then hit her in the middle before he, no she goes one. to the second cutscene the there we go brilliantly done first boss brilliantly done Nothing else matters to great me. job <laughs> I bet that's a, a weight off his mind. <laughs> We've just got a little cutscene here we're going to skip and then we're going to move on down through the tanker. Yeah, doing this game um, normally is difficult enough, let alone doing it blindfold. I can speak for myself on that one, especially a tanker. Uh, it's very optimised, especially very easy, which is what he's playing. A lot of people um, don't understand just how hard very easy is. Um, they think the name is easy and it's really not. <laughs> uh, we're just going to make our way back down. Avoid this alert's fine because we're on VE. The alerts go like that, which is what I love about it. <laughs> We're then going to get past this guard again. We're going to wait so he doesn't kick us. And then shoot. Yeah, brilliantly done. Because again, we don't want to be kicked by these guards. It's not fun. <laughs> uh, so we're going to get past this other guard by shooting him from behind. I'm just going to wait for him to move. There we go. Brilliantly done. And then we're going to drop down this railing. And we need to equip our camera for not only the end holds, holds three, but also a cheeky little skip coming up later on. Uh, we're going to drop down, move over, drop down this guard to avoid alerts. Skip it. Yep. Count our steps to get to this little nook here, which is a bit difficult to get through. Brilliantly done again. Then we're going to go up the step. 
the engine room is probably one of the more complex games uh, one part of the game because it's got so many variations of ways to do it he's going to pick up this ammo early because it's a lot easier to pick up this ammo than the normal ammo you'd pick up during the speed run because it's got a nice little um easy way to get to it you roll into it and then you move into it oh, little pause buffer there nice <laughs> Uh, this strat currently Apache created himself and it's a hit and miss. It can go wrong or it can go right. Hopefully it will go right. So he has to go prone, move over. And then hit this sensor. Brilliantly done again. following patrol the small room on the port side. Verrazano Bridge checkpoint passed. All non-essential personnel report to the holds in 10 minutes time um, for a scheduled briefing session with the Commandant. He's just got a couple more guards to get through down this hallway. And then we're going to make our way to the guard rush, which is... Probably a run killer for tanker runners um, because there is a bit of RNG dependent on where the guards are spawning. So he's going to use the um, M9 to first trank the first four guards, including the box guy, by doing a tiptoe stance. And then after that, he's going to use the USP because it just saves a little bit more time for the cutscene after it, as well as sets you up for the ladder glitch. At the moment. So this is the ladder glitch, he's going to put in a few inputs, he's going to listen very closely to the sounds and that's the way to know when to put the inputs on, shoot this guard and then move slightly over to this wall, he's got to shuffle down and then walk all the way across and then a quick little roll, oh, cheeky roll into everyone else there, don't think that was intended but it looked cool. <laughs> And then this next uh, strat he created himself and he's named it the Marine Glide and you'll see why in just a second. It's honestly something else. I'm just going to let you enjoy this because I, I love it myself. <laughs> lovely work, lovely work. And then we're on to holds three, where we take four pictures of the rays in the center. So we've got to do a left picture. Then we need to get into the center and take the center picture. And then we need to go right up to the right hand side corner, shoot this guard. Oh, it's just having a little bit of trouble finding where he is. There we go. Now he needs to just get right into that corner to take that Marines logo photo. Lovely picture that. Great, great photographer over here. And then we're going to go all the way back down to the corner to take the last photo from the right bottom side. And then on to the final section to check that your photos are okay. And once we hear we're the Marines, he can take his blindfold off and he can breathe again. <laughs> you just go wait for that. There it is, and that's time. What time is that?
What time is that? 8.26. That's pretty pretty good, to be honest, for a tanker in, a, in itself anyway. Let alone blindfold. Off the top Great of my work. head, I... Uh... Think that might be my PB, or it's damn, it's damn close to it. Anyway, that was a, that was a really nice. clean run. I'm, a, I'm, a super, I'm super happy with that. It's always weird when you put the blindfold on. You know, everyone's watching you, and it's like, it, it's weird. I look forward to watching the run, run back. But, um, thank you for commentating, Mark and Jay. You are. I hope it was okay. Yeah. A few technical issues, but we're okay. I guess I'll find out later. Um, <laughs> thank you to everyone who watched, everyone who's been donating to Crisis, and everyone watching UKSG. It's a great event. Um, I'll always be submitting to it. It's good to be back. Um, I hope to be back at the next one. Uh, big shout out to Metal Gear Speedrunners. If you want to learn any Metal Gear games, metalgearspeedrunners.com. And uh, follow me on Twitter at Apache Smash. Uh, hopefully I'll see you all soon. <laughs> And thank you so much, Apache, for that amazing showcase of just, I mean, come on, I'm speechless. You're doing this blindfolded, it's insane. Uh, while you had that run going, we did get a $25 anonymous donation in as well. So thank you, anonymous donor, for your generosity. Uh, they put that towards one of our upcoming incentives, uh, which is the Hit the Booby Traps in Pajama Rama. And you don't have a lot of time left to get in those incentives. So make sure you get on over, get those donations in, and see if we can't meet both of those incentives for Pajama Rama a little bit later on tonight. But for now, this is the end of the Metal Gear block, and we are going to have a brief intermission before we come back with Digital Duck and Final Bubble Bobble. Stick around.